At this point, we have our anointed preacher. Praise the Lord. He's doubly anointed, by the way. Praise the Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. He's eloquent. Thank doubly you. Doubly eloquent. Thank you. And he knows that by. Has to take it away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. If you're able, just give the Lord a hand of praise, you know, because I believe Amen. that when we praise the Lord, yeah. when the praises go up, the blessings do flow down. Lord. So thank the Lord. Thank the thank Lord. You. I will bless you, the Lord, at all times, and his praise shall yes. continuously be in my mouth. So we thank the Lord for another Sunday. We thank the Lord that we are able to come together and mm -hmm. worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. And I'll be reading verses 1 through 4. Genesis chapter 12. And I'll be reading verses 1 through 4. The Old Testament, the very first book of the Bible. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Get Abram, get thee out of thy country from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse them that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went, went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old, and he departed out of Haran. Amen. 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 The grass withers and the flower flays, but the word of our Lord shall stand forever. And I'm using for a subject this morning, walking by faith with God into 2023. Walking by faith with God Walk. into 2023. Amen. Church. God has a plan for your life. Mm. And God has a plan for his church. And he has a plan for this body of believers. The question we have to ask ourselves, are we really ready to go into 2023 with the Lord on our side? Understand this, 2022 is behind us now. And many of us have some fond memories from 2022. And we also have some memories we don't want to remember. Amen. But the good news is God has brought us into another year. And how many of you all believe if God before us, who can be against us? Amen. We are God's chosen elect. We are his church and we are the bride of Christ Jesus. Over the past year and into 2023, God wants us to increase our faith in Him. Every year we should be seeking to grow in Christ Jesus. Ooh, our spiritual growth should never be stagnant. However, there will be some dark days. And understand this, none of us are perfect. And we will make some mistakes. Amen. And all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. But the good news is, if you love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, God says, I will never leave you, <clears throat> nor forsake you. Amen. There is no sin that you have committed so great that God will keep you from him. Nothing you have done has made God turn his back on you. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. So many of us, yes. we get convicted or we get con. See, the devil brings condemnation. And condemnation tells you, you know you shouldn't be going to church. You know what you did last night. You know you shouldn't be doing this. You know you shouldn't be doing that. Because the devil is accuser of the brethren. Yes. But conviction is... Yeah, I messed up. I fell short. But guess what? I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to the church. Because yes. I need some healing in this mind. And I need yes. some healing in this body. None of us avoid the hospital when you're physically sick. 
<clears throat> I never met a person who said, let me get well, then go to the doctor. <clears throat> we are sick, and then you go to the, some of you ever been to an emergency room on a Saturday night? Yes. Or any night? Folks go to the hospital when their bodies are broken or sick. And just like the hospital, folks need to go to the church when you're sick. When you fall short. You see, in this passage of scripture, we don't know the year it was in. And Abraham had no idea what was about to happen in his life. But by following God's plan, his life was about to be changed forever. And in 2023, God wants to do great things in our life. God <laughs> wants to do great things for this body of believers. And understand, God's performing great things in your life is far more than physical blessings or money. Amen. Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. How about asking God to bless me with a sound mind? Yes. Amen. <laughs> How about asking God to restore broken relationships? Amen. How about God asking me, teach me how to love my neighbor as I love myself? Amen. And more, more important, how about asking God to increase my faith? Amen. See, these are the blessings of God that we should be asking for. And when God gives you all this restoration, then he'll bring about the money, and the houses, the stuff that we like. Because he knows yes. that stuff won't take you from him. As Christians, we have to really begin to understand that our life existence is more than this temporal existence on earth. We are eternal beings. And how many know, Minister Branch, we're going to be here forever. <clears throat> You're going to be living forever. Right. So now is the time that we really begin to set our minds on eternal things. Amen. That's why I love the Amen. hymn. We build our hopes on things eternal. Yes. And I'll say it once yes. and I'll say it again. Hold to his hand. Yes. God unchanging hand. You better build your hopes on things. Hallelujah, somebody. Eternal. Yes. Hold yes. to God's unchanging hand. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you never know what God has planned for you this year. But it's exciting to stand at the beginning of a new year and think about what God has in mind for you and me. And at the beginning of a new year, many of us make what's called New Year's resolutions. Hallelujah, somebody. We make these New Year's resolutions. And the beginning of the year causes us to look back of how far we have come and say, I got to live better. Now, I go to Planet Fitness. And right now, the gyms are bursting at the scene. And it's been like this forever. Folks make these New Year's resolutions. I'm going to lose some weight. But we all say around about February the 1st or 2nd, the gym starts to go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Am I talking to somebody this morning? The gym go back to normal because folks, <laughs> folks can't hold on to their resolution. Amen. But by following God and his plan for life has changed Abraham's life. In the same way he changed Abram to Abraham, God can change your life. So as we look at these few passage verses, God is telling Abraham, I want to propose a, the same way God told Abraham, he's telling us, I want to propose a new resolution for the church. Yeah. I want to propose that we as a church truly purpose in our hearts and minds to follow God this year. Yeah. We don't know yeah. what God has in plan for us in 2023. But one thing that we can be assured of if we follow him into this new year, this could be one of our best years. Amen, somebody. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and what? His righteousness. And after you do all that, all these things, the joys will be added unto us. So what does it take to follow God into the new year? First thing it takes speaking directly to us. In this passage of 
scripture, God spoke directly to Abram. The Lord told Abraham exactly his first step to be in this new journey with him. He told him to leave everything and go somewhere else. God said that enough to give Abraham God knew exactly Abraham knew exactly what God wanted him to do. <clears throat> so the question I to ask you, God spoke directly to you. That's why it's so important to make him early in the morning. Amen, <clears throat> somebody. Make him early in the morning. Yes. Why do we make him early in the morning? It drowns all the voice. Let me know once the day started, voices start. And then you find out yes. that. Because God's voice is a still small voice. Sometimes God wakes you up early in the morning. You think it's just uh, mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Or oh, I'm thirsty. I'm just resting. I can't seem to no sleep. Yeah. Oftentimes I'm led to believe God waking you up he wants to come with you. Mm -hmm. He says, I can't pay attention to I'm going to get you now. Speak. And how many of us have to speak to our yeah. How you think it's this night? Waking up in the morning. But next time you think hungry, maybe God is because he wants to commune with like conversation before the noise of the world drowns out. Many Christians their whole life to decide God will. God's will for mm -hmm. speaks the right everyone pages of Amen. Can I get a if a problem situation dealing God for your problem. Hallelujah. Here are things God is telling you to apply twenty twenty. John says Jesus said that the early verse you a man born a cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Jesus said unto love the love of God with all your heart mm -hmm. and with all your mind. Mm -hmm. That's one hallelujah. Do you see what does that God has That's the right? But ye now Holy Ghost on you witness both Not calling us a get up. Question God's the he listened and just of the When we and we to live to we God be it that 